Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gina Marie from the food blog veganwithcurves.com and today we're going to be doing a recipe tutorial video on how to make slow cooker black eyed pea soup with sweet potatoes and kale. Now, if you're traditional like me, you eat black eyed peas during a new year. Beans in general expand once you cook them, so that kind of symbolizes the expansion of wealth for the new year. And also, black eyed peas kind of sort of resemble coins a little bit. Now, we usually serve black eyed peas with greens, whatever greens you prefer, and this recipe is gonna be with kale. But green is a symbol of good luck. It's abundant in nature, uh, paper money is green, we all like paper money. <laughs> the four leaf clover is green, and also your higher heart chakra is green. So not only is this dish comforting and yummy for the winter, but it's a good luck charm. So without further ado, let's get into the recipe. Okay, first add your vegan butter to a hot pan until it melts or you can use olive oil, whichever you prefer. Next, add your chopped onions and garlic and saute for about two to three minutes. Now you're gonna add some Cajun seasoning to your onion and garlic mixture. This is my homemade version, which is on the blog. I put the link to that recipe below, but you can use store-bought if you like. Saute for two to three minutes until the mixture is fully mixed in with the onions and garlic. Next, grab your slow cooker and add your soaked black eyed peas, your onion garlic mixture, and your vegetable broth. Stir to combine and cook on high for about five to six hours. Okay, so through the magical power of editing, our black eyed peas are nice and tender. Now add your chopped sweet potatoes, your kale, more Cajun seasoning, and liquid smoke. A little goes a long way. Liquid smoke is an ingredient used to give this dish a smoky flavor that you would normally get with like a smoked ham or smoked turkey. Of course, this is a vegan dish, so we're not using ham or turkey. Um, if you're interested, you can read more about this ingredient uh, below. Mix until fully combined and cook on high for an additional one to two hours. Now our dish is complete, yay! <laughs> Keep in mind you can use any type of bean or vegetable you like, like pinto beans, collard greens, turnips. Also use whatever seasonings you enjoy. You know, make this recipe your own. The slow cooker soup will keep in your refrigerator for about five to seven days and in your freezer for about two to three months. So it's a great meal prep dish. Serve warm with tortilla chips or my favorite vegan spoke cornbread, which I have a recipe for on my blog and we'll put the link to that below. All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed that video tutorial. Now, if you did enjoy this video, do me a huge favor. Leave a comment below, tell me what you think, and also hit the thumbs up button, give it a like, <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can follow me on all my other social media networks. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on Pinterest. And don't forget to visit the blog, veganwithcurse.com, to get the printed version of this recipe. And while you're there, subscribe to my weekly newsletter so that you can receive weekly updates and as well as a free four-day Vegan With Curves meal plan guide. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Bye. kind of sort of resemble uh, started over again because i made some bloopers <laughs> veganwithcurves.com subscribe to the newsletter uh talk about the recipe first yes <laughs> do it again